Human or AI? In my last video, we explored what a timeless 80s classic might have looked like if produced in 2022. I whipped it up kind of quick and... Nani? A lot of you had amazing feedback. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Today, instead of reminiscing on yesterday by recreating a scene from my favorite film, we will be challenging some of the most sophisticated technology that humankind has ever created. Artificial Intelligence Variations of AI have been slowly implemented into our everyday VFX workflows as a tool to help us engage with our creative ideas by limiting the boundaries of what we thought was possible. And as of recently, this technology has advanced at alarming rates, taking the digital art scene by storm, allowing anyone to create mind-bending pieces of art with just a few words. But what is it, and how does it work? I don't know. I just really like Ex Machina and making these cute renders of corgis from space. These text-to-image generators like DALI, Stable Diffusion, or Midjourney are neural networks that utilize deep learning to reach into a multi-dimensional latent space, where it can source information about the world to create new and unique images. Did any of that make sense? <laughs> Basically, it's math. I have been really fascinated with Midjourney lately. I've been using it to visualize D&D scenes for my friends, reference to help jumpstart ideas, and even turn myself into some of my favorite characters. This one's my favorite. Donkey! We have have seen really talented artists push the capabilities of this AI to create groundbreaking visuals. I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could maybe make a more compelling render than Midjourney's AI while also learning more about how it operates. But it would be kind of whack if I just typed in a prompt myself, so I decided to ask you. Huge thank you to the community for participating in my little AI madlib where you typed in adjectives, nouns, and verbs, and then voted on them. We came up with some really fun and wacky results, and I'm really excited to do something like this again. All right, I wanted to say this before we start. These tools are really cool, but I think they should only be used to advance your art, not be it. Capiche? Plus, there's just something special about those human imperfections, you know? <laughs> All right, it's time I take on this battle for humanity. With the effects, not an actual battle, that sounds scary. Typically, Mid Journey can churn out four unique images in roughly two minutes. To make this a little interesting, we're gonna compare how I match up against Mid Journey in time increments five seconds, five minutes, five hours. This is the prompt that won. It's called a stinky forest singing. I can smell it from here. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be easy. Alright, all I gotta do is. Oh, I gotta import the tree and. It's why is it taking so no no all right that was just a joke time for the real render we gotta get this plane in here landscape it scatter the trees and channel my inner 3d powers we're just not gonna talk about what just happened so i started over lumped up a landscape and added in the sapling tree generator add-on to get my base started i scattered a bunch of different chocopher and quixel assets to cover up my scene added a volumetric cube and we got about four hours left i decided i didn't really like the original trees and i added my own little water base in here extruded this plane and turned it into a little deck for our character to stand on that's me figuring out that my camera actually works now. <laughs> I populated the scene with some more trees, a couple more quicksil embankments to really kind of merge the water and land together. It's looking pretty good. Two hours left. Got her singing there and made these orbs a little bit more fractal. And I wireframed an icosphere to make this kind of natural looking lamp and used more geo nodes to scatter around leaves and bushes as well as make those cable-y looking vines. At this point, I was kind of freaking out. I'm not very good at Photoshop, as you can see, but I was trying to get the job done, make it as appealing and stinky as possible. <laughs> and here are the results. I think it came out kind of cool. <laughs> Reimagining this prompt really helped me gain a newfound appreciation for the time and effort that 3D artists apply every day. These text-to-image generators are nothing short of amazing, but it looks like us humans may still have the upper hand. <laughs> Well, there it is. I guess I can go to sleep with the confidence knowing that I, a human, did better than this robot. <laughs> Humans rule!